Thanks so much. Well, this is a big day for the Catholic faithful. In fact, in two hours today, it will be the dedication of the Blessed Stanley Rother Shrine in Southeast Oklahoma City. Thousands expected to gather for the murdered Okarchi priest who was killed in Guatemala in 1981. Rother could become the first American Catholic saint. News 9's Natalie Cruz live outside the new shrine in Oklahoma City with more on today's event. Natalie. Robin and Lacey, and it is so beautiful out right now. The sun is shining. People are coming here from all over to be here for the ceremony. Now, the Archdiocese of Oklahoma City says that around 5,000 people are expected to be here today for the ceremony, and some of that crowd, including some of Rother's family members. Now, the campus here will open to the public at 8 this morning. It's been open for almost an hour now, over an hour. However, those with reserved seating will not be allowed inside. That's going to be until 1030. Now, while there is limited indoor seating, the Archdiocese says the public can participate in mass outside thanks to those big screens that will be up. Now, if you do want to watch outside, you can bring things like folding chairs and blankets, but there is also limited parking here at the shrine, which is again going to be right off of Southwest 89th, right near Shields, just east of I-35. If you can't find parking here, there's going to be overflow sites with shuttle buses at the nearby Crossroads Church and Frontline Church. Archbishop Paul Coakley, who is leading the service, says the $50 million tribute to Rother is just part of Rother's journey to become what Coakley hopes is the first saint from the United States. The standards are very rigorous. Uh, we, the church will take a very skeptical approach to any reported miracles. So we'll see. And if you want to be here but can't, the Archdiocese will be live streaming that dedication ceremony, which is taking place at 11 a.m. Such a beautiful day to be out. In Oklahoma City, I'm Natalie Cruz for Oklahoma Zone News 9.